Okay, so I have just started the long-term abusive cell tester that I test uh, traction battery cells on. I'm currently testing one of the V3 NextPower cylindrical 10 amp hour cylindrical cells. And uh, this is the third charge discharge cycle. And this test is typically runs for like thousands of cycles. And this is cycle three. And this cell has already heated up from 25 degrees, 26 degrees to 50 degrees Celsius. This cell is out in the open in the air. It has no enclosure and it's actually pointing up. So it has, and it's hanging over the edge too. So it has all the airflow and more that it would ever get in, in the Prius. Uh, and it is 50 degrees C. Now, I don't think this test is going to go very well. I, looking at the preliminary data from, I think cycle two, uh, I achieved one amp hour uh, of energy put back in the cell during the cycle. Uh, and that is abysmal and is, the, is you know, the V1 uh, next power cell that was lithium iron phosphate that I tested, that had been the worst cell ever. Uh, this certainly takes the cake as far as being the worst cell I've ever tested, uh, probably by several orders of, uh, or several times. Uh, I, I will need to look at the data, which I will do separately in a different video, but I am just amazed. This test probably won't survive the night. Uh, typically this test will run for months on a really good cell uh, and you know even week weeks or on, on a bad cell and uh, this, this I don't know I don't think it's gonna survive the night we'll see uh, I'm logging all the test data so we can look at it but abysmal